Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix where winds meet game lagging, freezing, low FPS or showing black screen error on PC. So let's go through the methods. The very first method is to check system requirements. So make sure your PC have all the requirements to play the game. For that, go to Steam. Now uh, here you have to search for the game and after that go below. And here you will see the system recommends to play the game. So make sure your PC have all those requirements to play the game and after that check if you can launch the game. If not, next method is to restart your PC as well as Steam. So for that click on the arrow icon over here. Now you can see Steam option, right click on it and click on exit. After that click on Windows icon, then click on power, then select restart. So this will restart your PC as well as Steam. After that try to launch the game. If not, next method is to modify launch option for that Go to Steam, under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties. Now under general here you have to type minus DX11 and then check if the game is launching or not. If not, again come back, type minus DX12 and then try to launch the game and see if this resolves the problem. If not, next method is to update your graphics card. For that go to the Windows search over here. Now search for device manager. Now expand display adapter, select your graphics card, right click on it, click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. So this will check and update your graphics driver. After that, try to play the game and see if it helps. Nvidia and AMD users go through the link already provided in the description. You can easily update your graphics card from there. Next solution is to run the game from installation folder. So what you have to do is just go to Steam under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on manage, now click on browse local files. This will take you to the game folder. Here you have to select the game and after that double click on it and then check if the game is launching or not. If not, you have to run the game as administrator for that right click on it, click on properties, now click on compatibility. Then here you have to select run this program as an administrator, then click on apply and ok. And after that check if the issue is resolved. If not, again come back, select run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 or Windows 7 and then click on apply and ok. And then check if the issue is fixed. If not, if not, again come back. Select disable full screen optimizations, click on apply and ok and after that check if the problem is resolved or not. If not, next is to allow the game through firewall. For that go to the windows search, search for windows security. Now here you have to click on firewall network protection then click on allow an app through firewall. Now click on change settings and uh, now after that here you have to search for the game if it's listed. If not, you have to click on allow another app, go to the browse section, then go to the game folder where your game has been installed, select the game application and after that add it to the list over here. Now after adding it, search for the game, search for the game and select it and make sure both public and private boxes are ticked and then click on OK and after that launch the game and then check if the issue is resolved. Next method is to verify integrity of game files. For that. Go to Steam, under library section select your game, right click on it, click on properties, now click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. So this will verify the uh, game files, after that check if the issue is fixed. Next solution is to update windows, for that go to the windows search, search for, check for updates. This will go to the windows update page, here you have to click on check for updates and it will check if any update is available. If yes, update your windows to the latest version and then try to launch the game. Next is to run SFC scan. So you have to open command prompt and type SFC slash scan now and then press enter. This will scan for any corrupted system files and replace them automatically. So just you have to copy this and after that you have to open the command prompt from the search option and have to paste it and then press enter. So this will check and remove the corrupted system files and then try to lose the game. Next method is to check graphics settings of the game. So when a graphics settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution and realizing etc then it directly impacts the game. And this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues. You have to set DLSS slash FSR to quality to check if it performs well. And also make sure to lower the graphics settings to avoid any kind of unwanted issues. Next is to disable third party overlay applications. So if there is any third party overlay applications enabled such as Nvidia, Shadowplay, MSI, Afterburner. Then you should disable it. This can lead to unexpected issue while playing the game. Next method is to clear download cache. For that go to steam. Now click on steam option. Then click on settings. After that click on downloads. And then go below. And here you can see clear cache option. You have to click on it. Once done. Now 
check if the game is launching or not. Next method is to install Visual C++ files. For that, go through the link I have already provided in the description. Just copy and paste it in your browser or even you can search for Visual C++ files on your PC. Now after the website opens, you have to go below, click on the link mentioned. Now after it is downloaded, open it and you will get a repair or install option. Simply click on repair option and wait for some time. Now you will get set up successful message. Here you have to restart your PC. After restarting, again log into the game and then check if you can play it. Next is to change virtual memory settings. For that, go to the window search, search for view advanced system settings. Now click on settings and click on advanced and click on change. Now here you have to select the drive where your game has been installed. Now click on custom size. Here you have to type 1, double, 2, double, 8. And in the maximum size you have to type 2, 4, 5, 7, 6. After that click on set and then click on OK. After that launch the game and check if it's working or not. Next method is to disable in-game overlays. So Steam users go to Steam, now click on Steam option and click on settings then click on in-game and here you can see the enable the Steam overlay while in-game option is enabled. You have to click on it to disable it. Once done, launch the game and check. Next is to force GeForce Experience users. Open it, tap on gear icon beside username, click on general and switch off in-game overlay option from here. For Discord overlay, go to the user settings, game overlay tab and switch off enable in-game overlay option from here. Next method is to disable antivirus program as well as firewall. So for that, go to the Windows search, search for Windows security. Now here you have to click on virus and threat protection. Go below, click on manage settings and here you have to turn off real time protection. If it is disabled well and good, otherwise turn it off. Once done, after that again go to the Windows search, search for Windows Defender firewall. Now click on turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off and here you have to select turn off Windows Defender Firewall in both public and private network settings. Then click on OK and then try to launch the game and see if it's working or not. But later on you have to enable the protection again. Next is to install DirectX on your system. So for that go through the link I have already provided in the description. Copy and paste it in your browser. Now after the website opens, here you have to click on download. And once the file is downloaded, you have to install it. After installing, now try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem. If not, next method is to run game on dedicated graphics card. For that, go to the Windows search, search for graphics settings. Now here you have to add your game to the list. For that, click on add a desktop app. Now go to the game folder. And after that, add the game to the list over here. After adding it, here you have to search for the game. After that click on the arrow icon under GPU preference you have to select high performance and after that try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem. If not then the final solution is to reinstall Verwind's meet game. For that go to Steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option. So this will remove the game from your PC. After that restart your PC once after restarting launch steam and reinstall where wins meet game once again and click on play button and then check if it's working or not 